watch film of him to like kind of get a feeling for how he reads blocks or anything like that? I don't, no, I haven't. Uh, I've seen him play. I uh, love his style of play. You know, extremely fast, extremely aggressive, um, can really do everything, catch the ball, run the ball, block. Um, so I'm a big fan of him. Have you guys talked to him? Yeah, we just I'm uh, just talked out here um, at practice, trying to get him going quick. You know, we're talking over um, our language, how we call plays, uh, pass protections, that kind of stuff, and just just trying to get going fast. Was he introduced to the locker room before practice, and then? Break no, the no, no. He came out. He came out in the middle of practice, um, and you know, everybody just kind of individually between plays and stuff went up and said hi. John said that you're trying to lock a room you get a, you get a vote of confidence. I mean, it's a little vote of confidence to you guys as much as anything to make a move like that. What does it do for the locker room? Yeah, 100 percent That's how Kyle framed it to us in our team meeting today is um, the way him and John looked at it is that they have so much confidence in what this team can do and that this team's ready to win now that they want to go all in. Um, and it, he related it to kind of when we got Emmanuel Sanders the Super Bowl year. Um, it wasn't it wasn't that we necessarily had to have someone at that position. It was just we feel like we can do some really special things, so why not add that weapon to um, what we feel like we already got. John said that we try to accelerate the process for him to potentially be ready to play on Sunday. What, what entails accelerating the process? Just putting in the hours between now and Sunday? Yeah, I mean, you just got to learn the language. You know, at the end of the day, that's really what... Um, that's the only thing that's going to slow a, a new guy from getting on the field is, is understanding what the language means. Like when a play is called, what does that tell you? Um, so if he can pick that up, uh, at least for you know a few plays, I'm sure they'll find a way uh, to get him mixed in there. He only went to Stanford, so do you think he can? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, exactly. I don't know if he's going to be able to pick it up as, as fast as some other guys, uh, but I think he'll do pretty good. You're the only one. I can <laughs> uh, where do you think this move puts the 49ers in the NFC and NFL hierarchy? Say it again? Where do you think this move puts the 49ers in the hierarchy of the NFL and the NFC? Man, I already felt like we were, at the, we were up there in the top. Um, and I think it, it's not that it really changes much. I think I think we're still one of the top teams in the NFL and the NFC. And um, I just think this is going to you know help accelerate that process. How personally exciting is it for you to just have him lined up next to you or behind you in the backfield? And just I mean, it, extremely. When you, when you have someone as talented as him in the backfield with you, I mean, I, I can only be excited about it. That's only going to add things to our offense. It's going to just put more pressure on the defense and things they have to worry about. I mean, we always talk about so many of our skill positions are, are kind of positionless guys, guys that can play multiple positions. And here we go with another one. So uh, it's just a lot of stuff for a defense to prepare for. Your angles when you're coming at them and wrapping them up because he'll, uh, he'll get gone in a hurry. If you're playing against a team that lined up uh, Christian in one spot and then Debo in another spot, what are they facing? Man, can't wait to see it. <laughs> we'll see. I don't know. Did his um, power not, not surprise you, but impress you when you got to play him in, in week five? Mm -hmm. um, you know, it, it seemed like there were a couple of instances Recorded. where you had him pinned in, and he was just able to get a little bit more than like, you know, a running back normally would in that situation. Oh uh, yeah, there was a couple of times he might have he might have had some some decent runs, but. For the most part, I think we we bought him yeah, pretty he, pretty, he, pretty he good. But <laughs> he, he he did get that one touchdown against us, uh, which was a great play by him. Um, you know, getting out, get down the edge, open space, making a play to get in the end zone. So, but hey, shoot, and obviously we got a player like that. I mean, you happy, you excited. So I just can't wait to have him on the team. Yeah, it seemed like that in your social media posts. Oh, yeah. Let's rock. Nah, so. no doubt, no doubt, man. Like, uh, I mean. He's an electrifying player, you know, and along with, with getting us hype, you're going to get the crowd involved too. So just have that player, man, he's a, he's a big help. You guys feet, can feed off each other with his speed, your power. and. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. I, I know I know. Cal is a mastermind. He's a wizard, so he's up there working and, and coming together and coming up with all types of things. So just let that leave that up for him and we just be ready to ball it and do what we was born to do. So, sorry if somebody's asked this, but what was it like at practice today for him coming in kind of halfway through? Um, uh, you know, it was cool. He kind of came when, uh, when we finished our session, so we was kind of all off on the side. So he was really able. It's like kind of like a little smooth transition. Everybody got to meet, say what's up at once, you know what I mean? And then, you know, everybody got back to practice. You know, he's locked in, picking up on new stuff, learning from the coaches, taking taking coaches. So it was just a quick what's up, man. Happy guy, how are you here, man? Been watching you. You know, hey, I respect you too. So it was just a chat of, you know, just a little bro talk.
Would you be surprised if he actually made it on Sunday, or would you be excited? Nah, man. Uh, he, he's a vet, sure. Like, and I know he's a smart player. That's that's why he's been in the league and been in the position that he's had his entire life. You know what I mean? Even even at Stanford, I, I used to watch him. So uh, coming out of college, I used to try to like pace myself to keep up with him. That way, I could try to, you know what I mean? Just be around the best. You know what I mean? So just to have him here, he's gonna bring a lot to the table. If your numbers are, are pretty darn good, you know, since you took over as a starter here, does that, do you take any? Do you read anything into that, or is no. it just the team adding a you know? What yeah, no, there? not at all. I don't. Um, it's a lot of people tell me actually I need to know my personal stats, but that's just kind of like always been me. I kind of like not paying attention to them because it kind of. I mean, I won't say selfish because everybody needs to know about themselves, but. It's just something I don't really impair myself on worrying about uh, uh, going and look up. If somebody was to send it to me and tell me, okay, cool, but I'm not going to go out of my way for it. So I just want to play football and do what I can the best way I can anytime I can. And you guys got Elijah coming back in a few weeks, too. Do you feel like you guys have the best running back in the NFL right now? Oh, yeah, no doubt. You know what I mean? We, we felt that way um, before um, when Christian got here. So we're adding them. We feel that way even more now. You know what I mean? Like, it's definitely like you really step it or if it's a check, take it to the bank of cash. You know what I mean? Like, we got the best group in the NFL, and that's bottom line.